Yo guys, it's Lucy Hundred here. Going to be giving my thoughts on NTR Nozu Trap Volume One. So Volume Two comes out in we well, actually did release just the other day, but I haven't got it yet. Uh, right now, when I'm making this, this is the 14th. It did come out yesterday on the 13th, but with Amazon shipping, I won't get it until tomorrow, which is fine with me. I mean, it's okay, but I am. Very excited to read more because it's actually a really good manga, uh, Yuri manga to be exact. Yuma gets her first boyfriend, who is Takeda. She's kind of nervous because, you know, the whole sex thing keeps coming up and et cetera, et cetera. So Hotaru, her best friend um, from childhood, she offers to give Yuma lessons um kissing lessons sexual lessons etc etc so obviously with that synopsis um i, I pretty much oh, i didn't do a word for word for the synopsis but it's generally the that's the general aspect of what the synopsis is that hotaru offers herself to yuma as practice well it kind of goes a little bit deeper than that because hotaru keeps kissing Yuma unexpectedly and touching her and etc 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 but yeah so my main thought about this is the girls are well Hotaru seems to like Yuma a lot more than she actually does her actually likes her boyfriend uh Fujiwara or Fuhi Lara, Fuhi Lara, I don't know, I can't remember, um, whatever. So, obviously that kind of, plays a big part in the story, it seems like, because Hotaru seems to be more into girls since she's to guys, and anytime that the subject of sex comes up with Fuhi Lara, she gets, um, kind of disgusted, sad, uh, depressed looking I mean she she did have sex with him in the book but it was more like you could see in her eyes it was very she looked kind of like a dead fish and we, we actually do see that in um, quite a few animes uh, you know the use of dead fish eyes and you know etc 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 so I'm, I'm thinking that more Hotaru likes girls better than she does guys uh, Yuma does like Takada, or Takada, I was calling Takada Kun because of what they were referenced him in the book, um, in the manga, sorry. But Yuma is, uh, I can't really say that she likes what Hotaru's doing exactly. I mean, she, she's surprised at first, and then she keeps kind of getting, like, dreams about them doing stuff and thinking about it more. So, you know, obviously... Obviously, it's going to drift to Yuma liking Hotaru, but it's interesting to see that battle going in, on in her head, because she, she's obviously conflicted, because she wants to be with Takeda, but she also has Hotaru doing things to her that are making her more aroused than what Takeda can do to her. Um... Sorry, but that's very... It, it's true, because she's very, um... The guys were actually in the room with them on an overnight trip. They came in and wanted to play cards, and they all fell asleep. Well, Yuma had the dream that she's messing around with Hotaru. So, then she wakes up. Hotaru and her talk a bit, and Hotaru starts touching her, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It, it's very, um... So there's one thing I can say about this, it doesn't, or about this manga, it's definitely not taking it easy on any of us, as far as, you know, moving slowly with what's going on, um, but the fifth, it was the fifth to the seventh page, uh, Hotaru actually starts messing with Yuma and starts, like, kissing her and licking her and shit in the bathroom stall, so... It's definitely not something that gradually eases into this stuff. 
it just does it from the get-go. Like, you see it from the get-go, and then it kind of just keeps going from there. And that's not a bad thing. You know, it, it's not like a... It's not like a full-blown, oh, hey, it's, it's a hentai thing, you know. But it's very... Uh, there is a story behind what's going on between them. And there's a little bit of a fight. A tad, tad bit of a fight of what happens um, between them. But... It is shaping up to look very nicely. Uh, it actually ends in spoilers, but it ends with Hotaru, or not, sorry, um, Yuma. Yuma is actually going to save the night with Takada in the in the guy's room and have sex with him. That's how it ends. As far as if she actually does it, I don't know, but I guess I'll be finding that out tomorrow. A uh, few predictions. One, I don't think Yuma's going to do it with Takada. I think she's going to get chicken or somehow get out of it. Um, I think she's going to run back to Hotaru and get, you know, kind of... I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go or how... I don't have any, like, prediction on what that's going to happen, but I don't think she's actually going to end up doing it with Taka. I do think that Gugiwara has an issue. Um, I haven't really mentioned him a whole lot, so if you can't remember who he is he is Atari's boyfriend but um Furiwara I think he has a control problem it seems like because he wants to like kiss and mess around with Hotaru and she didn't want to so he got mad and stomped his foot into the cable car that they were riding so I feel like he has an anger issue he wants to control things I feel like that's going to play a part in this because I don't think Hotaru likes to be controlled she doesn't seem like the kind of girl who does. She, um, I, I don't really want to say that she wants to, f she fights back against him very much. I mean, she kind of does. You can see it a little bit, but she's very, um, she, she doesn't like to be pushed into something that doesn't look like, but, you know, anywho, um, that's really all for my predictions on what's going to happen in volume two, because I don't really have... Obviously, the only main thing is I don't think Yuma's going to sleep with Takeda. That's all. But, you know, we'll find that out. And I'll be doing another video on uh, Volume 2 after I read it because I want to get my thoughts on that too. But so far, I think the uh, the story is shaping up pretty well. Uh, there is a lot of scenes between Otaru and Yuma, which I expected. I actually came from reading Citrus, so obviously Citrus is a little more slower paced with uh, things than this is um i i myself i really enjoyed Tetris. so you know going into this and on the back of volume one it actually does say for fans of citrus so obviously when i read that i was like okay i'm probably gonna really like this and i really do so i'm happy with that um i think that the <clears throat> not graphics the um art style is very well done too. I think that the artists did a very good job with the drawings. They're very, yeah. Uh, I don't know, they're very detailed and they just look really awesome. I know, I mean, you can see it. Um, I'm trying to find a place. Hang on. I'm trying to find something that won't get me off in trouble. <laughs> okay, that's not going to get me in trouble. Um, you see what I mean by, like, the, the dead, uh, dead fish eyes? She's, um, scared of, well, it looks like she's kind of scared of him or petrified of the situation. I don't really know which, but, yeah. Anywho, hope you guys did enjoy. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for volume two. Should be very interesting. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share my video. It does help me out as a small YouTuber. And I hope you guys are looking forward to my thoughts on Volume 2. Peace out.